Health Department has launched inoculation slum duelists aged 18 and above against COVID-19. Government will take initiatives to make up for the time students lost due to COVID-19, said Education Minister. High Court expressed dissatisfaction over not receiving reports on money laundering and irregularities against some e-commerce companies. And noted writer Hassan Azjul Haq is no more. He was laid to eternal rest on the central library premises of Rajshahi University. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to MyTV News. I'm Alavi Jahan. Waiting the newsroom today. Watching headlines. Now the details. The government has launched inoculation slum duelists aged 18 and above against COVID-19. The vaccination program started at 8 a.m. and Koral, one of the biggest slums in Dhaka. Director of the Department of Health Immunization Program, Shamsul Haq, said health service officially started vaccinating the slum duelists in Koral slum. He said there are about 3 lakh people in Koral slum. Many of them have been vaccinated and now health department vaccinates those who did not get jabs. However, it must be given to those aged 18 or above. The government is considering to inoculate a booster dose against coronavirus, said Health Minister Dr. Zahid Malik. He added that a booster dose would be administrated after most of the people in the country get vaccinated. He said this while speaking at a function at the state guest house Padma this morning. He added that so far the government has purchased 21 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses, of which 11 crore have been received. In the meantime, more than 8 crore vaccines have been administrated. About 1.5 million people are being vaccinated every day. Education Minister Dipu Muni today said that there is no scope to hold the next public examinations on time. She told reporters after visiting an SSC exam center at Jatpur Hassan Ali Government High School. The Education Minister said that the government will take initiatives to make up for the time students lost due to COVID-19. She expressed her gratitude to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for tackling the COVID-19 situation efficiently. The Education Minister later inaugurated vaccinated program for students aged 12 and 18 at Al Amin Academy School and College in Chatpur. The High Court today expressed dissatisfaction over not receiving reports by the Bangladesh Financial Intelligence Unit, National Board of Revenue and 16-member Technical Committee of the Commerce Ministry on Money Laundering and Irregularities allegations against some e-commerce companies. Besides the cost postponed, the hearing date of three separate read petitions on e-commerce irregularities to 23 November. At the time, the court has ordered the state representative Deputy Attorney General Bipul Bagma to inform the matter to Attorney General. Lawyer Mohammad Shishir Moni moved to behalf of the petitioner at the court today. While Deputy Attorney General Bipul Bagma represented the state at the hearing in this regret. Earlier, the court warned the government of stern action and if a report in this regard is not filed by 23 of November. Four employees of the Health Education Department of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare have been suspended following 17 important documents missing. Health Education Department Secretary Ali Noor came up with a development in response to a question from journalists at the Secretariat today. The suspended employees are Muhammad Joseph Shordar and Aisha Siddiqa, computer operators of the purchase and collections to section at the Medical Education Division. Badal Chandra Goshami, Office Assistant of Administration to Receipt and Distribution Unit and Mintu Mia, Office Assistant of Administration 3 Branch.
Noted writer Hassan Azul Haq was laid to eternal rest today on the central library premises of Rajshahi University. He was buried at 2.30 p.m. following his Namaja Janaja after Johor prayers. The 82-year-old writer breathed his last at 9.15 p.m. Monday at his residence in Rajshahi. Earlier, his body was taken to the REU Department of Philosophy from his residence at 11.25 a.m. Later, at 12 p.m., his body was kept at the Shahid Minar of the University. District Commissioner Abdul Jalil placed a floral wreath on Hassan Ajul's body on behalf of Bangladesh President Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Later, teachers and students of different departments as well as representatives of several social and political organizations of Rajshahi University also placed floral wreaths on the body. Hassan Ajul Haq was a professor and philosophy at Rajshahi University. Throughout over 50 years of his remarkable and prestigious literary career, Azul has published short stories illustrating a uniquely existent form of literary language. We are about to end the headlines once again. Health department has launched inoculation slum dwellers aged 18 and above against COVID-19. Government will take initiatives to make up for the time students lost due to COVID-19, said Education Minister. High Court expressed dissatisfaction over not receiving reports on Monday laundering, uh, money laundering and irregularities against some e-commerce companies. And noted writer Hassan Ajul Haq is no more. He was laid to eternal rest on the central library premises of Rajshahi University. US President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping stressed their responsibility to the world to avoid conflict. The Brazil arch rivals Brazil and Argentina will face each other in the World Cup qualifier tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News online, visit it slash MyTV News. And to watch all our programs, visit it slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next bulletin will telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, stay connected, stay safe, love us.